Back up at it again. It is four times. Six thirty-two. I just want the one video that I did late last night. So I'm gonna probably get up about a couple of hours. My chicken don't have food up and put chicken legs on it. Two of them, one before I do my fish. I gotta let my fish fall out. The catfish steaks already cut up. So I'm gonna have this with some corn and some um, coleslaw. I'm not gonna do this again. I'm gonna work it smart, not hard. I don't even want to eat. Um, I really got some old pasta already in the fridge. I have to just heat it up and put some sauce on it. It'd be just as good as I'm doing it, probably. Four or five days. What is it? Anyway, right now I'm gonna uh, turn this down. So. I like my bacon and everything. Cookie, I like my chicken fish fried hard. You see the flake crunching on it. I like my bacon fried hard. This is my, my, my uh, turkey bacon. That's my favorite brand. Oh, I'll be saying I got one. My go years ago. I'm going to be still selling it at the green pack. I don't like the chili old butter hard. I don't like this shit. Mm -hmm. Nah. I had tried to order some brown, uh, you know, breakfast sausage, uh, turkey sausage. But they didn't have it. I barely eat it. So every now and then I treat myself. But, um, you know, I'm going to put the pancake. This damn thing got grease all in it. Got my pancakes on there. Got the bacon ready to go. Fish is unthawn. Tacos is unthawn. Because I made the meat last night, y'all. Did the video. Go check it out. Did the meat last night. Put the sauce in, the taco season, the other seasons. And I put it in one of these little containers like this that you get ice cream in. Let me show it to you. I just put it in there. And when it cooled down, I put it in the freezer. Now that I'm up, up, I took it out the fridge. So by the time dinner time comes, it'll be defrosted. I'll reheat it in a pot. Make sure my season got enough sauce in it and everything. And then we'll wrap it in the shells with some shredded cheese. When I get down with this breakfast, I'm not going to be ready to eat for a while. It's like three, four, five hours, so I'll be ready to eat. Ta da! I'm not going to 
I'm so far. What y'all do this past weekend? I didn't go live yesterday at uh, noon. I got distracted. I'm doing a little video over Tony. And then I had food. And then I had a delivery. Next thing I know, I look up at the look out the I'm like, shit. I was tired. I'm not going to make up today for it. If not, I'll just wait till tomorrow. Because Monday and Wednesday is the day I'm supposed to be lunchtime. I hate to get off schedule. But uh, it's no big deal. Y'all see me, you see me. It's not like y'all was like looking forward to it. I'm just sitting there waiting at the gate. Let's move this over. So I'm doing waffles. This is all the pancakes. So I got out that battle. I'm going to get me two. And uh, three of them can get one. And then the rest can get one. If I wasn't, uh, now sometimes I make grits. If I was like in a really mood for it or whatever, if I had like, had no idea what I'm gonna make for dinner or something, I probably won't throw on the grits. That way we have extra before. You know, on a couple of eggs in it with the bacon and the waffle. So that like fills those up for about two and a half to three and a half hours before anybody ready to eat again. But now I know that they got the sandwiches in there already made from late last night. They got corned beef sandwiches mixed with turkey meat. And uh, they're gonna have some chips with it, soda or whatever. And then for dinner, they're gonna eat tacos. But then I'm gonna eat my, uh, I'm gonna eat my catfish. Lee and put the pancakes on there. Top. Well, that's getting a little brown. I can just go on to turn this off or so. I'm not gonna make nothing else. And I never ever ever leave it plugged. Put my last two eggs in here. Going for something. Oh, maybe no, I'll get breakfast tomorrow. We'll see. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get ready to uh, get out of here so I can eat my breakfast. And uh, I'll see y'all in those social media streets.